hello everyone welcome back to my channel digital creations and in this video editing tutorial you will learn how to render timeline in premiere pro cc 2021 so let's get started now let's get started guys you'll notice a choppy playback when you will apply effects to your clips and difficulty to play your videos in real time so let's have a look at these clips which I downloaded from pixels.com and you'll see these green, yellow and uh, red lines or bars at the top of the timeline, what they mean. Before playing back these clips, we go to this little wrench icon here and uh, turn on the show drop frame indicator here. Just this enable this little icon. Now guys, you'll see right over here, this uh, little circle here, it will tell you if you drop any frame. So let's go back and hit play. Let's play this yellow clip. Look at this guys here. 48 frames dropped during the playback because it has a difficulty of playing some clips and this red line as well. So let's learn what is uh, the green bar means yellow and the red bar means. Okay, let's back, go back. The green bar means uh, indicates that have render preview file and Premiere Pro have no problem in playing back in re real time at full quality. Let's play this. You don't have any problem to playing back and uh, notice that uh, this uh, yellow clip have a difficulty so the yellow bar or line indicate frames for which premiere pro doesn't have a render preview file and premiere pro will render before the play had reaches them okay so premiere pro may or may not play back these frames in real time at full quality so and the red bar means that frames don't have a render preview file associated with them and uh, it means that uh, premiere can't play it back in a real time so now guys let's fix all that choppy playback and go to sequence and select effects into and out or press enter key or return key in your keyboard and it will render all the effects that premiere pro has difficulties to playing with now guys it's done you'll notice this uh it will it rendered all the files uh, effects we applied on it here in those clips in the end but now guys here uh when we play this uh, clip which has a yellow line if you will have a problem in playing back with this clip with yellow line so go to sequence and select render into and out it will render all the work area entire work area now guys all the files and all the clips are rendered and it will play very smoothly you will notice here in the in this little icon the zero drop frame during the playback and all the all the clips in the timeline is rendered so in this way you can easily render all the all the clips in the timeline and uh, now guys one thing more let's play all these clips look at this effects all the playing uh, well now guys let's undo this now guys for example if you want to apply uh, want to render the selected portion of your clip the select endpoint press i on your keyboard and out point press o your keyboard and go to sequence and select render into and out it will render the selected portion of your timeline now guys this entire section is rendered now guys this is all about how to render your timeline in premiere pro cc 2021 i hope you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos thanks for watching digital creations